Hey there, my name is Katherine Grayson Nans, and I'm the developer advocate for Kendo React. You've probably heard the phrase before, timing is everything. Well, I'm here to tell you that they're really only half right, because when it comes to full featured input components, you also need the date. <laughs> All bad jokes aside, if you're building a UI that needs to take in date and time information from your users, you've probably wrestled with the question of how to do so in the most intuitive way. Do you split it up so they choose the date, then the time? Or do you show everything at once? And how can you limit the options to only the dates and times that you have available? What about validation? And what about your international users who use different date and time formats? Then, after all that, you still need to handle the question of accessibility and keyboard navigation for such a complex component. It's safe to say that building one from scratch would be no walk in the park. But, lucky for you, you don't have to. We have all the answers to those hard questions and more with the Kendo React Date Time Picker. The Date Time Picker is one of seven beautiful, fully accessible input options in our Date Inputs library. It allows users to quickly and easily select both a time and a date from an available range. It has tons of great features to explore, but I've picked five that really highlight the awesome capabilities of this component. So let's dive in. If you have a global user base, you've probably already seen a wide variety of the different ways that users can format dates and times. Whether you need to support 12 hour or 24 hour time, or something completely different, the Kendo React component library has you covered with our format property. Set one date object and our formatting tools can render it differently depending on your preference. Let's check it out. Over here, you can see where we've defined a date object here and we're passing it in to each of our date time pickers here. And you can see each one of these has the date and the time formatted in a slightly different way, depending on what the users need. However, we only have to change our date object up here to see it reflected across all the different formats automatically. It's just that easy. Most of the time, we don't want our users to be able to choose from any possible date or time. Maybe you want to rule out dates that have already passed or limit them to only work hours. All of this is possible and easy to set up when you're using the Kendo React date time picker. By defining values for min, max, or min time and max time, you can limit your user's selections to only what you want them to choose from. This vastly improves your user experience because it removes the chance of them going through the process of choosing a date only to immediately be told that it's wrong after they've chosen it, or worse, after they've answered several other questions and tried to submit a form. Just rule out the invalid or unavailable dates from the get-go and save everyone the frustration. Let's look at an example. Here you can see that we've set a minimum and a maximum, both our date objects. Right now, they're about a month apart, but let's say we really only want to limit this to just a couple of weeks. So we'll change this. And when we take a look at our date picker, you can see we've only uh, got this section, these two weeks that we're able to choose from. After that, dates are grayed out and unselectable. It's as easy as that. If you already have a good idea of what your users will be inputting, you can save them a step by providing a default value that will appear as soon as the date time picker loads in your application instead of the standard month, day, year placeholders. This is especially useful if you want to collect the current date and time from your users. There's no need to make them set that themselves when we can just have the computer do it for them. Just set the default value property to be new date or whatever date you'd like to pre-populate and let the component take care of the rest. We've already seen a couple instances of default value in this uh, video, but let's take a look at it specifically here. Right now, we're setting a date object to be a very specific date and time, but if we wanted to do what we discussed where we're having it at the current date and time, we just set a new date. And you can see right now, proof that I am recording this video on February 17th, 2022 at 1.20 in the afternoon. 
when you're using the keyboard controls or the scroll wheel of your mouse to quickly move through the options of a date time picker, that incremental value matters a lot. By default, this value will always be set to one, so your users will move forward and back through the values one at a time. However, this isn't always the most useful thing, depending on the context of your application. Being able to move through the seconds in 30 second increments, or maybe jump through years a decade at a time, might be more useful, depending on the scale of time that your users are working with. Kendo React allows you to customize the incremental step value of our date time picker by using the steps property. Let's take a look at this example. You can see here where we've defined steps and within it we have a section for day, month, year, hour, minute, and second. This gets passed into the date time picker component down here. Right now, we can change this to be really any increment that we want. So let's go ahead and do those years. And at a time, we've got uh, maybe our minutes in half hours and our hours every five hours. Now you can see as we move through this, some things are incremental where we've left them. Other things, like here's our year, moving forward 10 at a time. This can be a great way to make things a little bit easier for your users if you know that they're gonna be spanning huge lengths of time or you have a specific format that you want things submitted, like seconds rounded up. Date time pickers can be a difficult task from an accessibility standpoint. They're complex components that need a lot of thoughtfulness and thorough testing to ensure full accessibility. They're also an incredibly important component, and not one that you want to be inaccessible for your users. When you use the Kendo React library of components, you get our guarantee that each component has been designed and developed with accessibility as a top priority. Our date time picker is section 508 compliant and has full keyboard navigation support, including a list of handy keyboard shortcuts for quick mouse-free navigation. Our date time picker is just the thing you're looking for. Intuitive, accessible, and beautifully defined on the user side, while also being highly customizable and configurable on the dev side. Need a little more info? You can check out all the features of this powerhouse component in our docs. And if you're ready to try it out, you can try the entire Kendo React library free for the first 30 days. After all, there's no time like the present. All right, folks, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any of the links that we mentioned, you can find in the description below. And please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure that you get notified every single time we put out a new video in this series. You won't want to miss it. Thanks so much.